Here's a simple way how you can install Pro Evolution Soccer My Club on your Linux PC. Uh, but before we start, make sure that your PC is capable of running this game and uh, you are using proprietary drivers. And finally, that if you are using Intel, Intel integrated video cards, uh, this might not work. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing what you need to do is to download Plan Linux. For that, go to planlinux.com. Go to download. F uh, find whatever version you need. I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download this file and install it. Okay. After you install it, you need to start it. And when you start it, the first thing you, what you need to do is to install the Wine version. For that, press Tools, Manage Wine version, select 1.9.4, and this is the latest for now. And make sure that you are using x86 Wine because the 64 bit Wine is buggy. So make sure that you are using x86, x86 Wine, select 1.9.4 and press this arrow key and it will start the download while it's downloading I should encourage you to support Plan Linux and Wine those two projects made all, made all of this possible made possible to run Windows applications on Linux ok I'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's complete ok now let's close this. As you can see, it's finished downloading the Wine version. Press install and type Steam here and select Steam and press install. It will start the download next. And I'm gonna pause the video and come back after uh, the Steam started to install. Okay. Okay, press next here. Accept if you accept it. Read the agreement. Next, next, and install. And finish. Next. And first, we'll start Steam and download Project Soccer uh, 2016 My Club, and then we'll download different additional things and ch change the wine version but first let's start steam and download a project soccer it will start this loading by uh, downloading files i'm gonna pause the video and it will come back after it's uh, finished downloading files and i am logged in into steam okay you chose this error if you chose use this error ignore it press next there where is Steam? Okay. Still extracting stuff. Okay, it will show us uh, uh, login menu. So login. I'm gonna pause the video and come back after I'm logged in. Okay, I logged in into Steam. Now it will start and is uh, store in Steam Store. Okay, let's search for uh, Projection Soccer and let's install it. Okay, Projection Soccer 2016 Mind Club, and let's let's install it. Mm, this is strange. Okay. It opened it as a new tab, but let's ignore it. Can I put it here? No water. Let's press play game and it will start the uh, installation. Next. And it will start downloading Proelution Soccer. Finish. Okay. Let's see the, what Steam is doing. Not this shit. Okay. Close. Well, this team might work pretty messed up so we might 
uh, have to restart the thing but we, as you can see we don't need to it's downloading okay I'm gonna pause the video and come back after it's finished downloading Pro Evolution Soccer as you can see it finished downloading Pro Evolution Soccer now we can start Pro Evolution Soccer right click on it or double click on it and start the game but uh, the Pro Evolution Soccer will start but uh, the settings will not so we'll need to change that first, first wait for it and uh, wait for it and then we will need to quit Steam and start to we're gonna start to install few additional components from Planet Linux menu okay for, for press ignore here it will show this ignore that let's close production soccer window and now let's close steam press exit steam so press steam and exit and okay now we need to press select steam press configuration select steam and uh, in wide version select 1.9.4 whatever you downloaded it and press yes okay next we need to install a few uh, dll files for that press install components and first thing you need to install is .net 40 .net 40 press install I'm going to pause the video and come back after it's finished installing it if you see this error press ok ignore it okay as you can see it's finished installing it now let's install dx full setup press install gonna pause the video and come back after it's finished installing and finally we need to install uh, Visual Studio 2010 yes run 2000 press and press install and next this will take few seconds and after uh, we installed this we gonna install the uh, and we cannot not install anything press general press make a new shortcut ok ok ignore this and let's find the best settings and next next let's ignore this okay okay still ignore this and we can make a best shortcut but anytime we're gonna start it it's gonna start steam so we don't need it press cancel and uh, basically it's almost we are almost finished now select settings let's start it let's ignore this ok make sure to run this game in windowed mode uh, you can set uh, different quality I tested it it's slow and it works the controllers work as well I tested them ok here as you can see it works anyway great okay and we can start steam and then start pro evolution soccer and play our game we can start steam from here or here from here or from here and let's close this make sure to disable steam in game menu press for that press steam settings in game and uncheck this and okay 
and after we change the wine version the store will not work anymore so we need to start it from here okay and let's press play and it will start okay we already changed it remember ignore this and we can play our propulsion soccer I tested it and everything works okay but finally I should ask you that if you are playing against a weak opponent and you scored six goals or lay off them it's more than enough to score six goals I hate when people score ten and seven goals or ten, seven, ten goals or eleven goals against weak opponents anyway thanks you for watching hope it was helpful Please like, comment and subscribe. Best of luck. And one more thing that if when you start Provolution Soccer, uh, the music sounds like a glitch. The game is not glitching, it's just the music is horrible and there is only one song in this game. And it sounds like glitch, a glitch. Okay, so, oh yeah, the music started and it's completely glitching, it sounds like a glitch. Okay, thank you for watching, hope it was helpful.